Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Mark with Red Star Loft here with you. It's been a few days I'm giving you a look at the uh, new and improved pigeon loft. As you can see the aviaries are up and running. I put up this one last night so I didn't even actually get to see it in the daylight. Me and my dad were out here in the night mounting it and using flashlights but I just wanted to have it up and running before the morning so there it is like I said comes out two feet it is a little over three feet just runs alongside of the window we've got a door here easy access cleaning bath etc and uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got a couple of shelves in there. I decided to put this bar that goes across just, you know, as uh, extra room to for the birds to perch on. And uh, yeah, they've already, they're eating now, but they've already been out here. Most of them are getting used to it as we speak. So that's what the aviary is looking like, guys. I'm real happy with it. It's just the right size, it gets the birds out, and God knows they needed it now that the warm weather's here. Warm weather's here except today. Today is again in the low 30s, but from the looks of it, today is the exception. So the rest of tomorrow is supposed to be 50, then 60, so they'll get to enjoy it plenty. So that's it, guys. As you can see, I had to add these to this 2x4 here. I ran out of wire and had to cut two sides short so I didn't have to go to the store. So I was literally missing four inches of wire, maybe five. And uh, yeah, I ended up just putting a two by four there and making it a little shorter. But that's the aviary. Does its job, real functional, accessible, so I'm happy with it. Let's go take a look at the birds. I just gave him breakfast a couple minutes ago. <coughs> As you can see, these guys are doing good. A couple of those older ones are really, really going through the mold right now. But yeah, you can see that red one, he's. He's looking a little rough, but all in all, they're they're doing great. They're they've been responding to my calls great this week. So now we just need that good day to uh, start letting them settle. But I'm not gonna rush it too much. The last time I rushed things with birds, I lost a bunch of them. So you know, I'll kind of take my time. I'd kind of rather have, you know, a few of them be a little too strong on the wing with a smaller chance of the hawk than uh, get a hawk to come through and basically annihilate them. So we'll see. I still haven't made up my mind, but uh, that's where they are. We've got a few new birds over there in the... Uh, in the breeder section, I'll show you those in a few minutes as well. And these guys were eating as well. Just get this door. Okay. Hey, you can see those guys up there, they're already big. They're wandering around. I'm gonna be weaned any day now. I'm gonna wean this guy down here today. He's out of that box right there. That hen and uh, that dark check cock, this guy right here. What a beautiful bird. And uh, 
probably can't reach them down there but both of theirs have hatched both of the ones on the floor they're out they've been out since tuesday so two more right there and uh these guys here let me get in there hatched in the last 24 hours so since the last video video we've got four new birds that have hatched my silver's in there just want to show you these guys since they seem to be a bit of the favorites Come on, put your wing down. Look at them. What a pair of beautiful, beautiful birds. Whoa. Excuse that. Yeah, these two are my, definitely my favorites from this round. We'll see what else we get. But these guys are just... Beautiful, beautiful young birds. Let's get them back in their nests. So they can be fed. And then these also, we'll see what color they're gonna be. The last round was real interesting. Last round was that black one and that real, you know, pretty grizzled, but you can see this one's definitely going to be some sort of a grizzle from the looks of it. And this one's definitely going to be a red. So really, really interested to find out what comes out of, uh, what comes of them. Excuse that noise as the wind slamming the door, if you can hear it. But yeah, these guys are going to be for sure interesting. Get them back in their nests. So, yeah, basically that's what's been new. Let me just take a look at the progress of the Gannis birds. Yeah, they'll be ready for banding tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna band them. So, that's what we got, guys. Sorry about that, I keep having to pause and resume because of this damn uh, tripod, but there's the aviary from the inside. I made a gap around the door large enough so that when it expands and contracts, nothing gets stuck because I learned that lesson the hard ways a few times. So, but yeah, the birds are nice and calm and well behaved and I think I did interrupt their breakfast so I'm gonna let him let them get back to that <clears throat> but yeah this guy this afternoon when I come home from lunch I'll wean him I'll let him get his one more meal from his parents but so that you know when I wean him later in the afternoon he's gonna be he's gonna be on his own so Here. These guys have already finished. Let's see them. And let's pop out real quick and take a look at the aviary one more time. Hopefully there will be a few birds inside. Oh, they all went back inside to eat. That's about where I'm gonna leave you today, guys. Just wanted to show you the new aviary and a few uh, few new young birds. You can see some of the guys in there, but that's where we are. Thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, 
probably catch up with you guys back on Monday. Thank you.